Thank you very much, Vice President Tsai, for your very warm words of welcome, for your message from uh, President Wu. I'm sorry that he has COVID. Please send him our best regards. We will be talking with him virtually later, uh, but thank him for initiating this meeting, and thank you uh, for your warm, warm welcome. When you say that I'm a good friend of Taiwan, I take that as a great compliment, but I receive it on behalf of my colleagues. On our visits on co congressional delegations, we have three purposes. One is security, security for our people, global security. Two is economics, to spread as much prosperity as possible. And three is governance. But we talked about the economy. Thank you for bringing up the CHIPS bill. All of these members were instrumental in passing that important legislation, which we think offers great, greater opportunity for U.S.-Taiwan economic cooperation. Here with us in that regard is the Vice Chair of the Ways and Means Committee. It was very instrumental in the passage of that. She was with Microsoft. She is private sector oriented, which I'm sure she'll share with us. In, in terms of governance, we commend Taiwan for being one of the freest societies uh, in the world uh, for your success in addressing the COVID interest issue, which is a health issue, a security issue, an economic issue, and a governance issue. We congratulate you for that. And as we continue to work together, we want you to know how proud we are of, of Sandra. She told me just to address her as Sandra, <laughs> our, our director. Uh, and, and she has our confidence, and we're very proud of her leadership.